finished watching IT Chapter 2. And uh, I gotta say, I officially want to join the Losers Club. You're already in the Losers Club, honey. That was unnecessary, but... But before we get into it, we're gonna go ahead and give the answer to last week's trivia question. What was the first movie in the Has Fallen trilogy? That would be Olympus Has Fallen. Yep, so congratulations to everyone who got that right. We're gonna be announcing the winner to this month's AMC gift card giveaway at the end of the video, so... Be sure to stick around. Well, we're gonna make sure we keep this spoiler free, um, or as spoiler free as possible. So if you haven't seen the first movie, uh, you may want to click away because we are going to reference it. Yeah, and if you haven't seen the first movie and you're going to see the second one, I would definitely recommend brushing up on that first one. It'll if help. not, you'll be freaking completely lost. Well. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, so that brings me to my first point. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, however, the one thing that I didn't like about it was that they flipped back and forth between the kids and the adult timeline. Um, which was very interesting and very fun, except in the beginning when I was struggling to keep up with what actually was happening. I was like, oh wait, when did this happen? I don't remember this, I don't remember that. But eventually it makes sense, it, it just clicks together. It just, to me, took a little bit of time to really acclimate to that kind of environment. Yeah, for me it wasn't so bad, but there are some sections where it's like, yeah, like you said, I don't quite remember this from the first movie. Meanwhile, we just watched the first one again, two days ago. So it's like, yeah, it was <laughs> this definitely fresh. wasn't in the first one. Yeah. But um, I think I think it it flowed together pretty well. Oh, it really did. Once once you get over that like hitch of like uh, trying to figure out what's going on, it really like kicks in. It's fun to watch. Um, the pacing is really good. Yeah. The movie is almost three hours long. Yep. But not once during the movie did I think, oh my god, when is this gonna end? Blah blah. It's kind of slow. I'm bored. I really didn't think that once throughout the whole movie because the pacing really keeps you on your feet and you're genuinely interested in what's happening. Yeah, and there weren't like dull moments. There's a lot of things that need to be covered in this movie. That's one of the reasons why it's nearly three hours long. Um, but everything is there for a reason and it's it's not necessarily fast paced all the time mm -hmm. but you're not crawling at any point yeah but i do think that if you uh do kind of look away or drove off or i don't know go to the bathroom um you may miss something crucial yeah. so try to stick it out as much as you can if you do need a bathroom break um but i really want to commend the actor that plays richie um if you saw the first movie richie is the character with the the mouth, uh, the talent for speaking, so to speak. Yeah. Um, he's definitely was one of my favorites he's in the first movie. Oh, such a savage. And he doesn't lose it in this movie, thank goodness. Uh, but the actor that played him as an adult did wonderful. As a matter of fact, all the actors that yeah, played him as an adult say, I think I liked, great. I liked all of them as far as the adult versions. They really seem like just adult kids, you know, especially with um, Eddie and, and. Yeah. Yeah, Eddie for sure. <laughs> Eddie, they, they all did really wonderful yeah. jobs. But uh, I also want to talk about Pennywise. He's definitely the same uh, bully that he was in I the love first Pennywise. Movie. I absolutely love him. We rewatched the first movie and we realized how much he really likes to toy with his food. Yeah. And that does not change. Um, some, he loves to play with him. Yeah, the way that he, like sometimes he like insults them, sometimes he's like roasting them, sometimes he's just outright like manipulating them. But it's so entertaining to watch. Uh, he does a wonderful job playing Pennywise. I think it's more so some of the faces and whatnot that he makes. Yeah. Even before they even realize that, oh, there's this killer clown behind me. Yeah, he's he's like always in this like savage mode character, whether like or not he's character. being watched by the actors or not. Um, but that does bring me to something that I want to acknowledge. Um, this movie to me, reminded me of Alien vs. Aliens. Um, both movies I'm huge, huge fans of, um, but they're different. They're the same, but different. Aliens is very suspenseful, whereas Aliens is more action, and I think that I got that vibe from this movie. I don't want to say it's as drastically different as those two are, um, but I felt like it was much more suspenseful as it kind of developed the character of what is this monster, you know, we've never seen him before, yada yada. Whereas this movie, we already know who he is. So they're using him a lot more and the scenes are a lot more like fighting him off and running away and da 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 Whereas before it was a lot of like, ooh, I'm a balloon. What's gonna happen? Da -da -da -da. So um, it's nice. I think, I think it worked really well. Um, 
And it still has the same tonality as the first It movie. It doesn't differ so yeah. drastically that it feels like an entirely new movie. Yep, it's exactly what it set out to be, and it's just a continuation. Yeah. Know, so. But overall, I was extremely pleased with this movie. Um, it really brought me through a lot of range of emotions. Um, much like if you guys have ever seen Get Out, um, where it's scary, but you also laugh along with the characters. Yeah. That's. There's, there's definitely some laughable. Oh my gosh. A lot of laughable moments. You literally have a jump scare and then be laughing as you're like jumping out of yeah. your seat. And yeah, but before we get into our final ratings, we're going to go ahead and announce the winner of the $20 AMC gift card. And the winner is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, gotta tilt it this way. Alexandra Harper! Congratulations! Congratulations. Yeah, so um, go ahead and send us a message uh, via Facebook on our... Um, let's get into it Facebook page. Go ahead and like it if you haven't already. Um, with your information, we'll go ahead and mail that over to you or email if you prefer an e-gift card. Congratulations. And make sure you guys stay subscribed and stay up to date with other contests and giveaways that we may or may not be hosting in the future. Yeah. So with that, what is your official rating of this movie? Alright. So you ready? I'm going to lay it down for you. Alright, lay it down. I like this movie. I, I really did like this wow. movie. Wow. <laughs> I um, feel like they know that. I would probably give it a solid 8. Okay. I, I thought about this long and hard on the way home, and I am going to give it an 8.5. I genuinely loved it. Um, I loved the emotional ride that it took me through. I'm not going to say that I cried because I didn't, but man, and I don't really cry during movies, but I was a little bit like, and not because I have a stuffy nose, but because it really, I resonated with it a lot. I thought the themes and the characters, and it, I just thought it was great. Sure. Yeah, so stay tuned for our videos. We have some exciting ones coming out. Um, but yeah, have a great night. See you guys in the next one. And yeah. Wait. There's more? Was it better than the first one? I'm going to go ahead and defer to my alien versus aliens answer. I love them both very much and they're different enough for me to have a hard time comparing. Um, I love the first one. But this one was good. I guess I love the first one more. It's hard to beat the original sometimes.